if there's anyone there. And uh, that was A Nightingale Sang in Berkeley Square, which, which is one of my songs from Out of the Cabinet in alphabetical order. So we're up to A-N. So um, that was written in 1940, um, as far as I can see. If my um, Roman numerals are correct, Alexa, what is MCMXL? Good afternoon, Lionel. The Roman numeral MCMXL is equal to 1940. There we are. So, Alexa just confirmed. Alexa is an intelligent personal assistant developed by Amazon. First used in the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Echo Dot devices developed by Amazon Lab 126. It is capable of voice interaction, music playback, making to-do lists, setting alarms, streaming podcasts, playing audiobooks, and providing weather, traffic, and other real-time information, such as news. Alexa can also control several smart devices using itself as a home automation system. Yes, thank you very much. I really didn't want to know all that, but there we are. I'm having trouble hearing. Can uh, you say that again? Uh, I said thank you very much. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> right, well, there you are. If you mention the name, which starts with A-L, <laughs> and you've got it in your home, it will talk to you, won't it? So I was right, it was 1940, so there we are. Um, so what else have we got that's come out of the cabinet? Well, I've got this one here, and I love you, and I love you so. Um, Perry Como had a hit with this in 1971, 72. It's got both dates written on here. Um, Words of music by Don McLean, who also used to be quite a, a, a well-known singer. Um, I've got a slow connection, it says, so I'm hoping that it's working. Um, about my connection, what I've done today is I have kept the um, extender switched off because I think what is happening with my signal getting cut off or it's going all wrong is that um it's trying to switch between the extender which i've got in this room and the router which is in my kitchen and it's trying to switch between the two for best signal and i think that's why i get the drop signal from time to time so today i'm trying this out to see whether it works it might not i'm actually using the router only in the kitchen and once again i see it says it's a slow connection but um hopefully it's working so and i love you so i've got a copy here i haven't run through this i've got a turnover page um which could make life difficult but i have got a copy and then somewhere here, which I'm going to play instead. Um, so I'll, I'll see if I can give it a go from this copy. I hope I can read it and see it. Um, it says I can play it as a bossa nova. So I'll see if I can find a bossa nova on here. Um, in my Latins, um, bossa nova one. Let's just give that a try. See where the bossa nova one will do the trick. Okay, well that might well do. We then need to just slow it down to a reasonable kind of speed. Because <coughs> it is more of a ballad. And I'll bring it down to 80 and see how we get on with that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, might 
be a little slow, but maybe it's fine. So, and as I said before, 1971-72, it's got a double date for some reason. Sometimes tunes get composed at a certain date and then get put to one side and they land up being published sometime later, maybe the next following year. Anyway, um, that's that one. Uh, I've done those two out of the cabinet so we'll see what comes up next week um hello sally thank you for watching nice to see you we've got a rainy day once again here oh by the way um date it's sunday the 25th i know i get it wrong sometimes with my watch because the little bit that tells me the date like the 25 is so small 
And if I land up with one of the um, hands, like the hour hand over it or whatever, it makes it difficult to read. But I'm pretty sure that it's the 25th. And I hope everyone's okay out there um, in these difficult times that we've got. Something else I've got in front of me at the moment, uh, Stardust. Um, very old Stardust, written by Holy Carl Michael um, in... I've got to start looking at that one now. 1929. My goodness. Um, 1929 this was written. Um, I'm not going to do it as a bossa nova. I shall probably play it as a foxtrot. I rather like it was when it was first um, written. So... Um, See how we do with this one then. Okay. <clears throat> Might have got it set a bit too fast. We'll see. Yeah, that's too fast for uh, a nice tune like Stardust. So we'll bring it down to, I only show you these things in case other musicians are interested. Uh, tempo's down to 96 beats to the minute. And uh, we'll try this. And hopefully the signal's still going out okay. Right, so here we go. Stardust, written by Hoagy Carmichael in 1929. My interpretation coming up more or less. And I haven't got the verse on my page here, so I know there is a verse which goes something like... Get it wrong. would go and then it would go into the chorus bit like this
that well. Uh, and I've said, there you are, once again, like I always do, and I keep trying not to say it. Um, Stardust. And uh, we'll see what else we can play for you. I've got a few requests here, um, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to do them today. Um, Jill's asked for Autumn Leaves, got to find that piece of music, and My Funny Valentine, which um, I have got a copy somewhere. Um, see if I can find that. Um, I don't know whether I've got any other requests at the moment. Oh, yes, I have. Um, I've got to find the music for it, though, because I don't think I can do T for Two without. I'm not even sure what T for Two is, um, is in. But Stephen of the Les Paul Big Band in Brighton asked me to do T for Two the other day. And uh, although he asked me to do it in a, as a um, uh, chatter show, which nearly everybody knows it's normally done as, it wasn't originally written that way. It was really done more like... Let's see, more like sort of this. Oh, whoops, forgot to press that button. into another key and I can't think what that key is. Never mind, so that's why I need the music. Um, anyone else out there? Um, bring them on... Um, <laughs> bring them on camera. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who said that or what it's all about. Oh, by the way, talking of cameras, I'm thinking of getting a camera instead of using my mobile. So if anyone's got any ideas what to use for a video camera instead of my mobile, I would appreciate it. Um, provided it's not too expensive, I don't mind if it's running to the hundreds. But um, as long as it's something um, pretty easy to, to use um, and does the job for me, picks up the sound. Um, uh, let me know. I have been looking at a, a something called a GoPro, which I'm hoping uh, may be the thing for me. But if you've got any advice on that, I'd appreciate it. And the other thing is whether to change this keyboard for a new keyboard. Um, there's there's um, nothing really wrong with this keyboard at the moment, but it is over 20 years old or thereabouts. And um, there are nice ones that are out and around like um i think it's the sx 600 yamaha sx 600 which um i've been listening and looking at online um as an alternative to buying the genos 2 which is quite a lot of money um we're, we're looking at around around about six thousand i believe so um this keyboard as i say it's it's working. There's a couple of little tiny things wrong, but they're easily put right, um, no doubt. Uh, but there we are. It's working, and it, as you know, as by what you can hear. So um, let me just play anything that comes to mind. As usual, um, what's going to come to mind now? For example, <laughs> country. Don't know. How about this?
probably crazy to play Caravan as a um, bluegrass, but uh, <laughs> that's what I did. Um, but there you are, I can go crazy. <laughs> I just play whatever comes into my head. Right, so there we are. We've done a, a, a bit of a session here. Um, looking out my window, loads of rain out there. The cars are splashing by. <laughs> and, uh, well, hope you have a pretty good week. And I hope this is working at the moment on the system I've got here, uh, which is to not use my extender but next time maybe i will try the extender again and see what the difference is um don't forget i do put these on youtube so if you go on youtube please do a like and a subscribe it does help i'm up to 68 at the last count 68 subscribers it doesn't cost anything to subscribe some people seem to think it does but it doesn't and um well we hope to see you next week and have a good week bye for now